Bagrodia, PG resident dermatology, Maulana Azad Medical College. Today we are here to discuss some important signs in dermatology. So I'll be taking this as a short quiz. As you know that in dermatology visuals are very important. So I'll be first showing you some visuals. Then you can pause your video, think about the diagnosis and then we can discuss. So let's get started. This is the first visual. So I think you might have thought about the diagnosis for now. So let's get started. Let's discuss it. This is Asbo Hansen sign. So I'll talk briefly. I'll tell you about how is it elicited also. So there is a blister. First we mark the end of the blister. And then uh, pressure is put on the top of the blister. So we see the extension of the blister to the normal skin. So based on if the extension is round or angular, we have different diagnosis based on that. So if the extension is round, the diagnosis is bullous pemphigoid or dermatitis herpetiformis or epidermolysis bullosa dystrophica or epidermolysis bullosa acquisita. Then if uh, the extension is angular, we have a diagnosis of pemphigus vulgaris. Next here only I will tell you about one more thing which is bulla spread sign also known as Lutz sign which is same as almost same as the Asbo Hansen sign the difference only being that instead of putting pressure from the top of the blister a pressure is put from the side of the blister okay and the causes for that are same as that of Asbo Hansen sign. So let's uh, so we'll uh, before going to the next slide we'll first uh, revise once again. So in case of round extension the diagnosis is bullous pemphigoid, dermatitis herpetiformis, epidermolysis bullosa dystrophica or epidermolysis bullosa acquisita. If the extension is angular the diagnosis is pemphigus vulgaris. Next. So let's discuss. As you can see this is Nikolsky sign. Here what we do you can see uh, a flaccid uh, blister here actually. A pressure is put on the no lateral side of the blister on the normal skin and what we see is a shearing off of the normal skin. It is seen in case of pemphigus. The next is Staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. The next is Haley Haley disease. Okay. Here only I will tell you one more thing about Shudo Nikolsky sign. I'm sorry. Shudo. Nikolsky sign. So what is the difference? Actually Nikolsky sign is due to acantholysis which is seen in histopathology that is true Nikolsky sign and in pseudo Nikolsky sign which is seen in case of I'll tell you toxic epidermal necrolysis. Here the uh, shearing off of the epidermis is not due to acantholysis rather it is because of the death of epidermal cells. So a quick revision, Nikolsky sign is seen in pemphigus, staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome and Haley Haley disease and Shudo Nikolsky seen in toxic epidermal necrolysis. Next. So, I'm sorry. This is apple jelly nodule or apple jelly sign. As you can see, the lesion is being pressed with the help of a slide and you can see a yellowish tinge here. This is known as apple jelly nodule or apple jelly sign. It is seen in case of granulomatous disorders like lupus vulgaris, sarcoidosis and leishmaniasis. 
So, apazeli nodulus senin, lupus vulgaris, sarcoidosis, and leishmaniasis. Let's go. Let's let's go to the next. So here you can see. This is a plaque. Okay, a silvery white plaque. The sign you can see in this is Auspitz sign. Okay, this. So what I'll tell you in short what it is. Uh, first, we scrape the lesion using a slide. Uh, the as we scrape the lesion, we'll see the scales coming off, which is known as grattage. Okay, and then when we see the bleeding, this is the bleeding point you can see. That is known as Auspitz sign. I tell you the causes. So Auspitz sign is seen in case of most important psoriasis. Other reasons being derriere disease and actinic keratosis. Okay, Auspitz sign is seen in case of psoriasis, derriere disease, and actinic keratosis. Let's go to the next. This actually you can identify the diagnosis. This you can see are multiple neurofibromas. Okay, these are multiple neurofibromas. So, in case of neurofibromatosis, the sign we are talking about here is buttonhole sign. Actually, when what uh, you see is when you press the lesion due to a dermal defect, it will just go inside. It's like uh, the button, the button which has a hole. So that is why it is named so. So it is button hole sign. Let's go to the next. This I hope you can see. Sorry. This. This is carpet tack sign. So, when you remove a scale, you can see these horny plugs. Okay, this is carpet tack sign. This is seen in case of very important DLE, discoid lupus erythematosus, also seborrheic dermatitis. Okay, let's go to the next. This I'm not very sure if I able to make it out or not, but this is what I want you to see. Here you can see a wheel. So this is derriere sign. Here what you do is uh, when a pigmented lesion is rubbed with the help of a rounded end of a pen. We can see an urticarial wheel over there. This is known as derriere sign, and it is seen in case of urticaria pigmentosa. Histocytosis, leukemia, and xanthogranuloma. I'm sorry. Here only I'll tell you about one other thing, which is pseudo derriere sign. Actually, here you'll not you'll not be seeing an urticarial lesion. Rather, due to the transient, uh, there is a transient firmness of lesion you'll be seeing due to piloerection, and it is seen in case of smooth muscle hematoma. So, derriere sign in case of urticaria pigmentosa, histocytosis, leukemia, and xanthogranuloma, and pseudo derriere sign in case of smooth muscle hematoma. Next, so here you can you can see the dimpling. So, what you do is when you press a lesion between the thumb and the index index finger, you can see a dimpling. So simple. This is known as dimple sign. seen in case of 
dermatofibroma. Okay. Next, this I am very sure you must have read in surgery also, or you you will read read it in future. So this you can see is multiple seborrhea keratosis. Okay. The sign is very important. It is known as lesser trilat sign. multiple SKs and you must think of an underlying malignancy most commonly associated malignancy with it is gastric adenocarcinoma okay so this is the last one here actually I want you to see three of these signs first is this then this and then this as I've already given you multiple hints actually so this I'm talking about I'm surely you will have you must have recognized it by now we are talking about dermatomyositis so first I will tell you about Gottron's sign what you see here okay what you can see is pink to violaceous erythema which are present on both the metacarpal joint as well as interphalangeal joint okay next you can see is shawl sign which is an erythema which is present in the distribution of a shawl which is upper back and shoulder okay next you can see the heliotrope sign Actually, these are very important clinically also. You will see patients of dermatomyositis coming into you like this only. So, uh, when the similar, the flat pink to violaceous erythema, which is present over the periorbital area, it is known as heliotrope sign. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.